My name is Hayley McClellan, and I am a plastic shopping bag addict. I have been plastic shopping bag free for more than 10 years now, and I feel amazing. <laughs> I don't feel inconvenienced or hard done by or annoyed. In fact, I feel really, really empowered. And every time I use reusable shopping bags, that reinforces the behavior that I have chosen. So in 2007, I decided, that's it. There will be no more plastic shopping bags in my life. I felt that the single-use item represented grossly unconscious behavior on my part, and I felt really uncomfortable about that. Further to no longer accepting plastic shopping bags into my life, this crazy idea to ban plastic shopping bags fell out of nowhere and landed with me. Boom. <gasps> now I had to do something about it. So I started telling everybody that I was going to ban plastic shopping bags in South Africa. But I was like this lone voice in the wilderness. Hello, anybody out there think it's a good idea to ban plastic shopping bags? No, no? Nothing coming back at me. Oh well, I decided to do it anyway. And I acknowledged that I would need some help, but I would do it no matter what. So what are the problems? Well, South Africans use about 8 billion plastic shopping bags every single year. And when I first came across this figure, I had to consider, well, how many of those was I responsible for? And I'd like you to consider the same thing. How many of those are you responsible for. We use them for about 20 minutes, that's what the research told us. Now that should be shocking to every single one of us, considering that plastic lasts forever. So eight billion plastic shopping bags, where does it all go? Well, we throw them away, of course, but where is this place called away? Is it landfill, perhaps? Out of sight, out of mind, mm, a very irresponsible attitude to have, considering that every single piece of plastic that has ever been made still exists on this planet. Now, I'm not against plastic. That would be silly. Our overconsumption and hasty disposal of single-use plastic is, however, a very serious conversation that we need to be having. We also send about 96% of these plastic shopping bags to the dump site, and we can only assume that is because so many people use them as bin liners in their kitchen. And then we also burn plastic into the atmosphere. And then we breathe in, we inhale those plastic toxins. Many of these eight billion plastic shopping bags end up in the ocean every single year. Now to you and I, that looks like a plastic shopping bag. But imagine perhaps you were a turtle. Might that perhaps look like a jellyfish, which is their main source of food? You see, plastic will never biodegrade. It doesn't break down into anything organic. It photodegrades. That means the harsh rays of the sun and the mechanical motion of the ocean, it makes sure that big pieces of plastic become small microplastics. And these microplastics get caught up in the five gyres of the ocean, the five ocean currents. That is the Indian Ocean Gyre, the North and South Atlantic, and the North and South Pacific, where they can last for decades, in fact, forever. And this plastic soup is made up of micro-microparticles. Some of you may have heard of this already. In addition to historic and also modern-day threats, the endangered African penguin now has to add plastic shopping bag entanglement to its list of threats. Have you rethought the plastic shopping bag yet? There is plastic in every single ocean that has ever been researched for its existence. We are told that at the moment, as you sit here, every single minute, the equivalent of one dump truck per minute leaks into the ocean, and that by the year 2050, there will be more plastic in the ocean by weight than fish. 
Have you rethought the plastic shopping bag yet? The earth is choking while retailers are so afraid of inconveniencing their customers by doing away with plastic shopping bags in their retail outlets. Have you rethought the plastic shopping bag yet? Dead seagull. How do you feel after seeing that? Animals are dying while gullible consumers continue to use vulgarly branded plastic shopping bags day in and day out. Thus, corporates are very happy because the moment you walk out of their door, it's free advertising. Are you rethinking the plastic shopping bag yet? So why is plastic shopping bag use still rising, considering that we now pay for them? I want you to listen very closely to what I have to say next. This is the money shot. <laughs> Somebody got that. <laughs> In 2003, do you remember that government implemented a charge on plastic shopping bags? And everybody had a fit for about 30 seconds. And then we just got on with our lives and we became numb to this extra tax. Well, plastic shopping bag use did decrease, but it has subsequently increased to very high levels again. So it proved to us that charging people for plastic shopping bags was not a big enough disincentive to reduce plastic shopping bag use in our country. So there was a company called Buisa eBag, which means return your bag, that was created within government and Boise eBag was charged, or tasked rather, with creating buyback stations, so recycling stations, creating awareness and education about the litter situation in our country, and also, most importantly, to provide employment. Very, very important in South Africa today, and clean up the country. So, they were tasked with managing just the levy portion of the bag. Do you remember it was like 22 cents when they first started charging for bags? In that was a three cents levy. It quickly went up to four cents, then six cents. It's currently eight cents per bag. So for every, or for, let's put it this way, for the eight billion plastic shopping bags that are manufactured in South Africa every year, times eight cents goes to the government. That's an enormous amount of money. And that was to be used on the environment, right? But in 2011, Buise eBag was disbanded for mismanagement of funds. So let me tell you, well, first of all, if they were disbanded in 2011, why are you still paying for plastic shopping bags? Nobody really thinks about that. Between 2004 and 2014, 1.2 billion rand was collected, just from the levy portion, remember? That's an enormous amount of money that could have been spent wisely on the environment. Well, a mere 200 million was spent on the Working for Water program, not even waste management related. And the government tell me that the one billion rand remaining, they cannot account for. What? No, they don't ring fence it. It just goes into the big black money pot called the fiscus. Isn't that fraud? That's your money. You should be mad about this. You should be rioting, <laughs> protesting about this. So you're not only wasting money by buying plastic shopping bags, you're also being lied to. So now, have you rethought the plastic shopping bag yet? None of these brands are recyclable, despite the advertising, please recycle me, our world, etc., etc. So about one year ago, it came to light that the plastic bag manufacturers very slyly began adding a calcium carbonate chalk filler into the process of making plastic shopping bags. That made them less expensive to make for the manufacturers. More money, right, for the manufacturers. This has now come to light. And I say no more false branding and no more trashing our environment. This is the only plastic shopping bag in South Africa that is currently made of 100% post-consumer recyclet and is 100% recyclable. I want to be very clear about the Rethink the Bag campaign's objective. 
it is for a plastic shopping bag free South Africa. Or to put it more crudely, to ban plastic shopping bags in South Africa. This is an idea whose time has come. So it's a call to action campaign. It is my greatest wish that every single one of you here will no longer use plastic shopping bags. This is a choice you can make right here, right now. It costs you nothing at all. If we continue to be a throwaway society, it is to our detriment. This is our life support system that we're speaking about, our environment. Hanley Prinsler says, when something that you love so deeply is being desperately threatened, you need to act. Solutions are right in front of us. Every store just about that you go into, they have reusable shopping bags. You see, we don't need plastic shopping bags to get our goods from the store to our destination. We just need a way to get our goods home. I'd like to see by a show of hands, how many of you have reusable long life forever bags? Just put your hand up nice and high. That's great. You need to use them, please. They're feeling neglected. Uh huh. And then a lot of people ask me after the presentation, so I like to cover it. But then, Haley, what am I going to use in my bin, in my kitchen? The great reveal. <laughs> so, of course, we should be recycling everything. Plastic, paper, glass, tin can, cans, your, your food scraps to either your compost heap, or if you don't have one, your friend's got one. Promise. And then you can use free newspaper. Free newspaper to line your bin. It works. We're a household of four. Each week, we send out this tiny little bin to landfill. And we're also making eco bricks on the side, so that's even minimizing more to landfill. Please do not go out and buy new plastic bin liners for your bin, because I told you, please don't use plastic shopping bags. That will merely create an unintended consequence, which we don't want to do. All right. Now, we will all remember that a number of years ago, there was a law passed in South Africa that we could no longer puff our cigarettes anywhere and everywhere. Do you remember? In an airplane, in a venue like this, in the supermarket, in a hospital. What? So they said, that's it. You can only smoke in designated areas. And again, there was such resistance. Oh, restaurants are going to lose money. The economy is going to fail. We survived the process. We proved that we can survive change. That was the norm. It was the norm to smoke everywhere. And it's currently the norm to use 8 billion plastic shopping bags here in South Africa. That is what we need <laughs> to shift. So, should we ban plastic shopping bags? I don't know how you feel about it. But the campaign surveyed 2,068 respondents in five different LSM spa stores. And the response was overwhelmingly positive. 74% were in favor. And I have to share this with you. I've been at the Volvo Ocean Summit today. Fascinating. The most amazing moment for me was when there was a speaker that stood up and spoke about the V&A waterfront and stated that they have committed to banning plastic shopping bags across the entire V&A shopping precinct. And that's after a lot of work with the campaign. And finally, they're on board. It's a very, very, very exciting time for the campaign. So if, like me, you're tired of seeing this, then I challenge you to commit to this no more plastic shopping bag way of life. It's really, really easy. I promise you. You will feel amazing because you will know that you are making a difference. I'm not special. I just had this feeling that I had to do something about plastic shopping bags in South Africa. And I set off on that journey. And that one choice around this one single-use item has greatly enriched my life experience in all possible ways that I'd never, ever imagined. And the bonus is I'm still sane. 
<laughs> Very normal girls standing here, and you will be too. I am completely committed to this campaign and seeing a plastic shopping bag disappear from this country forever. Many countries have done it. We won't be the first. There are many causes. Pick one. This is mine. And I hope I've inspired every single one of you to join me. Thank you very much.